Hello, this video is an attempt to give you an idea of how I plan an RV trip and what we document of all of the stays, how we make the reservations, and this type of thing. So, uh, I'm going to use this example of a trip that uh, we just kind of canceled here uh, because of the coronavirus but anyway we're going to um, uh, start off by building an itinerary and we look at how many days are we going to be gone and then we look at each day how many miles are we going to travel each day we're not one of these people that likes to travel 300, 400 miles a day. We, 250 miles or so is about a maximum that we like to travel uh, a day. And uh, we like to try to get into an RV park by usually no later than 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. One of the things, 254 miles, this total day trip, and that I identified there was a... RV park along the route called Miller's RV Park down in Johnson City, Texas. So anyway, I uh, had called, made reservations. Uh, first thing I did is I looked at that particular RV park on the satellite view just to see how easy it's going to be in. Do they have pull-throughs? Uh, just kind of what it looks like. Easy in, easy back out on the road. And determined that this would be a very good RV park. So I made reservations at this RV park for the evening and pretty much had everything planned. Uh, day two, this was my rough outline for day two. Uh, we would be leaving the RV park, heading on down to San Antonio KOA, and I have routed myself along with Google Maps all the way down to San Antonio. When I get to San Antonio, then I had routed myself uh, on the various roads that would carry me over to the KOA. Also, one of the cool things about the Google Maps is they mark the exit numbers. So as you're going, if you're going to need to exit off to get to a, either a fuel station or to a, a RV park or whatever, you can look at the little blue, the little green boxes up here, and you can tell which exit that uh, you'd need to take. I've always just written it a little bit larger uh, on here uh, on all of those. But as you can tell, on this particular situation, I needed to exit at 159B uh, off of uh, Interstate 35. Uh, in order to get to the service road that was going to take me down to the RV park and that I would be staying at. So, this was the routing me all the way to the KOA that uh, was there in San Antonio that we would be staying at. I had uh, also did a aerial... Uh, I did a... Google Maps, satellite view of the KOA in San Antonio just to see what it looked like. So, also what I've done is I have kept the uh, reservations. Here was the reservation. I canceled it. Here was the reservations for that first stay at Miller Creek RV res Resort in Johnson City. It also had a picture of the um, of the actual campground and if they give you a site number you can go to this map and circle which site you're going to be going to and it gives you a great idea on where where you're going to be getting getting in and getting out. But anyway these are the this is the uh, the trip there now i also will do the just from there uh, if i'm going back if i'm going to a particular destination and then i'm going to be going back a lot of times i'll just backtrack and uh, use maybe even the same fuel station again 
in this type of thing. Um, one of the other things that I do, uh, which probably would run a lot of people crazy, is I will um, do a daily expense sheet. Um, we record, and I'm, I apologize for this being, you know, sideways, but uh, it's just easier for me to do this, to do this video this way. But hopefully, I can explain it to you. You have the date, where the expense was, what the city was, how much was the expense, did I pay cash, did I charge it, if I charged it, which credit card did I charge it to. We record everything. In other words, if we stop at Walmart and we buy groceries, we'll write down the date, uh, Walmart, what the city it was in, and what did we spend, uh, how did we pay cash, or did we charge it, and enter that amount. This is very helpful as far as tracking your credit card expenses on a trip, because I can look out here and the that I charged it to a particular credit card. One of the things that we like to do is we like to use this daily expense log. And I apologize for having it sideways like this, but it's just I've got it in this notebook, so I'm not going to try to turn it around. What we have on here is the date of the expense. Where was it? The city? How much was it? Did we pay cash, charge, if we charged it, which credit card? So that's kind of works out real well for us because uh, when I get ready to, um, to, to get resolve a credit card uh, statement, I can pull this out and I can see which credit card was it charged to and the amount and this type of thing and I just check it off as I'm going to, to check that out. Another thing that we do is we do a gas log, a fuel log. The date, the gas station, how many gallons did we put in, how much was it, what was the mileage at the time. And a lot of times I like to figure the miles per gallon for that particular stretch, which credit card did we charge it to. I will start by writing up here the beginning mileage so I can even do the miles per gallon on the first fuel up. But this, this also, we use Flying J, as I stated. Uh, we use Flying J because it's got a, I've got a credit card, a Flying J credit card, and we use it exclusively. Get to five cents a gallon, and I will investigate where are the Flying J's along the way, and I'll make every attempt I can to make a Flying J because number one, we like Flying J is they have dedicated... RV lanes, which is so nice to get in and out of. So anyway, to sum this thing up, uh, this may be overkill for a lot of people, uh, but, um, you know, this is just pretty much the way I plan a RV itinerary, uh, RV trip. It works for us. Uh, I like being stressless, not having to worry about where am I going to stop for fuel. Um, of course, we always try to make a reservation. There's nothing worse nowadays than trying to get into an RV park and it's full at 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So anyway, I think this plan is, takes a lot of stress off of you. It does off of, off of us as we travel. So anyway... That's kind of the way we do it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you if you enjoyed it, give me a like and um, feel free to share it with any of your uh, friends that you might um, you might come around. And uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a, a a statement and I'll try to answer it. Everybody have a great blessed day and hey, you guys drive safe out there, will you?